हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज गुरु नाथा एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू सेंड मेल्स इन एस एस आई एस पैकेज सो यू कैन सी दैट आई एम इन माय कंट्रोल फ्लो एंड लेट्स गो टू माय एस एस आई एस टूल बॉक्स एंड यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव अ टास्क कॉम्पोनेंट कॉल सेंड मेल टास्क सो यस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस एवरीथिंग अबाउट द सेंड मेल टास्क कॉम्पोनेंट सो इफ यू विश टू सेंड emails after your package get successfully executed then yes you can use the send mail task and also if your package get fails and if you want to send a mail to the admin yes you can use this send mail task so this task components help us to send emails via the ssis package so before we go and understand more about the configuration of send mail task let's understand the limitation so what are the limitation of using this send mail task so let's understand that so let me just open up my notepad here so the first limitation let's see here you can see that when i double click here let's go to the smtp connection and when i say new connection here you can see that we have the connection name manager here yes you can give any name over here you can give any description here here you can provide the smtp server and here you can provide the time out milliseconds so whether you want to time out without the connection after the 30 seconds yes you can specify here and you can also specify the windows authentication mode also and you can also specify the ssl also you can see that but here you can see that in this connection manager we don't have any area to specify the username and password generally smtp server are authenticated with the use of username and password and by using the port number but here in this screen i cannot find any area or i will say any text box to enter username password and the port number so this is the limitation what we have here so let's write it down in our notepad no username and password and no port number so we don't have any options here so this is the limitation number 1 what we have here using the send mail task and the second limitation let me just show you that so you can see that we have the message source here and here we need to put the message source so here you can see that we don't have any rich editor over here like to make the font bold to make the font italic to change the font type to add the image we don't have any editor over here this is just a simple plain text box so here we can send only the plain text emails only via this send mail task component so this is the second limitation so here we cannot send a rich formatted mails only plain text emails only so this is the second limitation what we have in this component and of course if you want to attach any attachments yes you can do that here the attachments are there you can see that okay and here you can provide the from id also so first you need to provide the smtp connection here so let's select that and from email also you can provide here like for example abc at the rate abc.com okay and in case if you want to specify the multiple email id is to send the email yes you can specify that by using the semicolon so i will say like abc at the rate abc.com remember this is the dummy email id so in case if you want to use the multiple email id just put the semicolon over here and just say pqr at the rate pqr.com so you can see that and in case if you want to put cc here yes you can add the cc email id you can put the bcc email id also you can put the subject like ssis package running so you can put the message over here my package ran so this is the message you can put here and in case if you want to configure this mail task component via the variables or parameters yes you can do that but what are the limitation let's understand here once again so here you cannot put smtp username and smtp password and here you cannot specify the port number and here you can send only the plain text emails and here you don't have any option to send 
एच टी एम एल वेल फॉर्मेटेड ई मेल्स और आई विल से रिच फॉर्मेटेड ई मेल्स ओके सो दीज आर द टू लिमिटेशन आर देर नाउ लेट्स गो एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर दिस मेल कॉम्पोनेंट वाई द वेरिएबल्स सो यू कैन सी हियर वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एस एक्सप्रेशन हियर एंड लेट्स गो टू द एक्सप्रेशन एंड यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव समथिंग कॉल्ड एज बी सी सी लाइन सी सी लाइन एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव फ्रॉम लाइन हियर ओके सो इन द फ्रॉम लाइन यू कैन स्पेसिफाई द वेरिएबल ओवर हियर ओके सो नाउ लेट्स फर्स्ट क्रिएट अ वेरिएबल्स देन ओनली वी कैन कॉन्फिगर द कॉम्पोनेंट वाई द वेरिएबल्स हियर so what are the advantages of having the variables in this send mail task component so let me tell you friends in case before your package runs if you want to change your from address to address subject message and the attachment yes you can take the help of the parameters so that's why i'm showing you how to configure this mail task component via the variables so first let's go and create the variables so here in this case i am going to create the variables here and uh, let me also tell you something friends before i go and start showing you the how to configure this component via the variables so first let me say cancel over here and you can see that in my connection manager i have something called as smtp connection manager so which i have created by right clicking like this i can say new connection and you can go to the smtp like this or else you can also go from here you know just go to the mail say smtp connection say new connection okay can you see that yes so the same connection i have over here i will say edit here and you can see that this is my connection manager screen okay so here i have given the smtp server as smtp.gmail.com definitely this address will won't work so why it won't work because this smtp gmail requires proper username and password along with the port number and since we don't have any option here to enter the username password and the port number so i cannot configure this connection manager via this smtp.gmail.com but in your case when you are working in a production server definitely if you have the smtp server address then yes you can put the address over here in case if you have the ip so for example 192.168.1.1 in case if you have the ip yes you can put the ip also over here and if it is a windows authentication just check the windows authentication if you want to enable the ssl yes you can enable the ssl and you can also set the timeout also okay the connection time out in milliseconds but in this today's video i will say in this demonstration to show you proper demonstration i don't have any smtp server so that's why i cannot show you properly how to send mails via this component but i can show you how to configure this component the only thing which i don't have here this smtp server if i have a proper server name or i will say proper server address then definitely this configuration will work completely fine so you understand how to configure the component the address anyone can give you in your company also in your production server also you can get this address so once you have the address rest everything all the settings remains the same whatever i am demonstrating in this video so i request that please watch this video completely and if you really like this video then give us a big thumbs up and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to our channel because your one like and your one subscribe really really motivate us to create more such technical videos on msbi so without wasting any time further let's go and understand how to configure this component via the variables also so i will say okay here now so first let's go and create the variables so in this case i have already created the variables you can see that the from email to email the message the subject and the attachment variable also that is the attachment file the same you can create the parameters also i strongly recommend that you go and create the parameters of to email from email this message this subject attachment is fine let it be in variable only rest others yes you can create the 
parameters so why parameters so before the package runs it gives you complete control of changing the values of this parameters so that's why you can take some of these variables into the parameters so now let's close this and let's go and configure our send mail task so let's double click on it and let's go to the mail so first let's create the connection the connection is already there so that is the SMTP connection manager let's assign it and in order to configure this component with the variables yes we need to go to the expression so yes so here first let's set from email so for that let's select this from line so from line is for from email okay so let's drag and drop from email similarly to line for so yes there you go to email and say okay now let's assign the subject so there you go the subject drag and drop the subject here similarly the message so message source drag and drop the message variable and now finally the attachment so i will say file attachment yes so there you go attachment variable there you go say okay say okay so there you go you can see that our send mail task has been configured successfully now let's connect our data flow task to the send mail task so there you go you can see that this is for the success means once our data flow task has been executed successfully then only this send mail task will fire the mail and yes we are sending this success mail to the admin saying that our package has been executed successfully so this is for the success sending mail what about error thing so if any error happens if you want to intimate or i will say if you want to get intimate via email so how to configure that so yes it is very simple you just need to go to the event handler you can see that yes here on the event handler section you can see that we have the different types of handlers that is on error on task failed on warning and so on okay so here in this case i am going to select on error so why on error definitely if my package fails i want to send that mail to the admin guy or to mark myself also with the error log file so for the same i am going to select this on error event and i am going to create this event handler you can see that and here i am going to drag and drop the send mail task so definitely before this i want to log the error so where i want to log the error yes you can log the error in the text file also so how to log the error in the text file for that you need to drag and drop the script task component but here in this video i am not going to demonstrate the script task component but i will show you a simple way of creating a log file and sending that log file via email so how we can do that just drag and drop the execute sql task so yes i have already have the execute sql task with me so there you go you can see that so let me just double click here and here i'm going to select the connection here so there you go you can see in my expression here so what i have written here you can see that a simple insert statement here that is the error log table with the package id package name machine name error code error description and the current date and you can see that with the help of the system variables i have inserted the record right so this is a simple execute sql task what i have here so i will say okay which logs the error into the error log table okay i will say okay here i will say okay so i will say okay here so there you go now definitely this execute sql task will dump the data into the database so you can see here you know can you see execute you can see here right with the error description with the current date with the task name and so on with my machine name also okay now definitely i want to send email to the admin guy to the concerned people and also to mark a cc to me also if an error occurs in my package while running and definitely if you want to send a error log file also attaching to this then what you can do you need to drag and drop now this is i am showing without coding so if you want to generate the error log file 
yes you can do it via the script task also but i am not going to demonstrate how to create the log file via the script task component but i am going to show you a easiest way you know how to log it how to send that log file via email so let's do that so for that let me go here and let me drag and drop the data flow task here so there you go and let's connect this execute sql task to data flow let's rename it so error df so there you go double click here i am going to drag and drop the oledb source so why oledb source because you can see that my all the error logs are there in the sql table so for the same i am using the oledb source so here i am going to write this sql statement you can see that so which does nothing it just chooses the current date you can see that a get date with the help of get date i am going to get the current date and the current date means the today's date so if the error happens today definitely i am going to get that log via this query okay you can see that so let me run it so you can see that right so there you go let me just copy this let's go here let's double click let me choose a sql command over here let me paste it let me pass the query so there you go you can see that now now let's create alias name for this so i'll say as an error code now let's go to the columns you can see that it's everything is perfect i will say okay here now let me go to the advance here and let's go to the input output properties let's go to the output columns let's choose the error description and here we are going to change the data type so there you go let me make it find it here i will say okay so there you go we are done now what i will do i am going to drag and drop the flat file destination so why flat file destination definitely we want to log all the records to the text file and that file we are going to attach it and send it via email so we have the two loggings that is one at the sql server table also where we are logging all the errors and one via the email also where we are logging in the text file and we are attaching that text file while sending the mail to the concerned team people or you can say that you can also mark to yourself also so i will say connect here let's connect it let's double click create new so there you go so new error log connection so browse yes i am going to choose a manual file right now but i am going to make this connection dynamic so i will say open so there you go i will say okay mapping okay done so there you go okay so we are done now let me save it now i am going to my variable here so why variable because definitely i want to change my variable name here so i will say new or i will say error log attachment error log attachment so this will be like string and yes let's go to the expression and let me just copy this address so there you go let me copy this let me put it here let me format it so there you go let's give the file name as my error log hyphen so let me put a plus and here i am going to use the date function as get date okay and let me say plus dot txt so every day a new file will be generated with a different date okay so that's why i am using the get date function here to generate the error log file with the date name here let's evaluate the expression so yes we have the error 
so let's typecast it first dt underscore wstr comma 30 so there you go you can see that oh we have some times also let's remove the time so how to remove it let's go to the string here let's drag and drop substring so here i will say substring comma and uh, here i will say comma 1 comma 10 so there you go so there you go you can see that right so i will say okay here i will say close this now i will go to my event handler so i will say data flow so here i'm going to change the properties of the connection string so via the expression we can change that so yes connection string expression so here i'm going to just drag and drop this error log attachment there you go you can see that i will say okay i will say okay so yes we are done let's save it so as you can see that with the help of the variable we made the flat file destination connection dynamic right and so every time if the error generates every day suppose so a new log file will be generated here okay with the proper date and time or not time just the date now what we will do let's go to the event handler and let's configure the send mail task so yes so here connection manager so from i will say let's put the dummy email id at the rate abc.com and this will be like pqr at the rate pqr.com you can put the cc and bcc also so this the subject is ssis package field or you can also create the subject from the expression so let's go to the expression i'm going to show you something different here so let's go to the subject let's go to the expression here i will say ssis package field on let's give a date and time here okay so yes let's typecast it gt underscore wstr and comma 30 so there you go you can see that so i will say okay i will say okay so the subject is done let's configure the message source also via the variable i am sorry via the expression so here it will be like message source hello team package so let's use the system variable name package name failed due to an error you can also give the description here so you can use the description here like this kindly check the error and fix it thanks let's evaluate the expression there you go i will say ok i will say ok so yes in the attachment yes you can go here i am sorry let's go to the expression again and let's make the file attachment here let's go to the expression from the variables let's use the error log attachment file yes i will say ok i will say ok i will say ok so there you go we are done so let's connect now 
so it is saying that we have the error here you can see that it says that the file log does not exist yes it is does not exist because that file we are going to generate dynamically so for the same what we will do let's let's select this component let's go to the properties let's make the delay validation as true so here i'm going to set the delay validation as true here for the send mail task because my error log file will be generated at the error log data flow task component you can see that right here so let's go to the event handler let's save everything so there you go okay so friends this is how you can log the error and send that log file via the attachment using the send mail task definitely i cannot run the program why because i don't have a proper smtp connection server here so that's why i'm not able to run but yes whatever the steps i have shown in this video you can follow it except this smtp server address okay so if you get this proper address from your company or from your production server yes just put the connection here the server address say okay rest everything all the settings are perfect just use it as it is automatically this send mail task will work fine in case if you have any errors or, or any doubts you can post your errors and doubts in the below comment section of this video definitely i will be there to help you to solving all the issues and doubts regarding this send mail task component and we are going to make one more video on sending emails in ssis package using the script task component so instead of the send mail task there i am going to use the script task component so why script task components because there i can give my smtp server name of gmail there i can use the port number also there i can send the html email also that is the rich formatted html emails and there i can also specify the username and password for smtp server authentication of my own that is the gmail id only and there what we are going to do we are going to generate the log file automatically using the script task component and we are attaching that same log file in the mail so that we can send proper html emails so this is the demonstration which we are going to do in the next upcoming video in our youtube channel so if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to the channel to get the latest notification of of my videos and definitely please like this video because your one like and one subscribe really really motivate us to create more such technical videos on msbi thank you very much and happy learning